Oh, is Lane the legend? They get ready. This is going to be a banger. We got fighting out of the red corner, out of American Top Team, Asheville, North Carolina, at the 70 pound weight class. Please all welcome out Eli Young. We thought this fight wasn't happening, ladies and gentlemen. But Dylan McGrath. I, I apologize. Those of you watching at home, Dylan McGrath fed me a line of BS, and he told was, me we weren't having this fight. I was fed multiple lines of BS. I heard from several people this fight was off. Look at this little monster, Eli Young. Listen, you can learn a lot about a man by watching him shadow box, and that kid right there knows how to fight. So we are getting Lane, the legend, Mar. You're, you're a tough critic on shadow boxing. I remember you watching my student Josh shadow box and making oh, fun don't, of him before don't. you do. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're getting complimented on your shadow boxing by Icy Mike, you can shadow box. Yeah, <laughs> I am pretty harsh. Because he'll let you know if you can't shadow box. I'm pretty box. harsh. Well, even UFC fighters are terrible about it. They well, show yeah. them. Right. And his boxing. opponent fighting on a Carolina Combat Club, Indian Trail, North Carolina. Fighting out of the blue corner, please welcome Elaine Moore. They call him the legend. The legend is a ring name at at ten. It's hard to be as old as he is and be a legend, but he's done it, and he earned that nickname from one Brian Battle, who you see there in the corner, the ultimate fighter, the ultimate fighter, like not. He is the ultimate fighter. That's the coolest thing about winning that show. <laughs> he is. You get to say that forever. He's yeah. like Mr. President. Yes. Like, you know, you will always be Mr. President you're long after fighter. you're out of office. Brian Battle, an amazing fighter, also is an amazing coach, particularly had a lot of success coaching youth combat sports. Hey, we've got a junior ring girl even. <laughs> Have you ever seen Hawk Jones? No. It's a movie that's shot like it's a police procedural, but all the characters are kids, and no one mentions <laughs> it the whole movie. <laughs> it's played 100% straight. <laughs> we need, that a, how, we that need a kid referee, too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. if we had a kid referee, it'd be a full-on Hawk Jones production. Hard. Oh, man, immediately takes the back. Eli Young on the back. Lane is moving, tries to wrestle up. Looks at an inverted double leg. Not many guys can do that. Yeah, Eli sprawls hard. Good kicks. Good kicks from uh, Lane Marr there. Eli sends him back with some kicks. And then Marr, Marr has tried a couple times for takedowns, but. Well, that's his, yeah, definitely his game yeah. is going to be more on the ground. Outside yeah. trip, very nice from Lane. Yeah, Eli has so far been electric in this fight. He's been constantly moving. Let's see if he can get pinned down here yeah. if he keeps it keeps it active. His wrestling defense is held intact up until now. Yeah, Lane did have he had to get creative there. He had to he had to change up from the double leg to the outside trip and then the body lock outside trip. Some good chain wrestling on display for you know kids this age. Yeah, well they can still do it without getting exhausted. Yeah, <laughs> you're not going to get a, a 185er to chain three takedown attempts together. Would like to remind all the folks at home that head strike uh, head strikes are illegal in this rule set, whether it's on the ground or on the feet. So a lot of what you're going to see on the ground, the action is going to be more in the world of jiu-jitsu, which is why Eli Young is actually in a nice spot right here. Yeah, he's attacking from the bottom, using the cage to get an angle, looking for that arm bar. Oh, and... Please, if you at this time are filming or taking pictures, take your um, light off, please. Looks for a Kimura sweep. And look at the composure of these athletes when they look to their corner. They, they They're look listening. to their coaches. Yeah. 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 He's he's making he's making Lane very uncomfortable by turning his head like that. But Lane has been oppressive with this top pressure. Yeah, and the last time I saw Lane fight, this is kind of the strategy he went with too because you're scoring points in this rule system if you're hitting to the body. So if you hold somebody in if you hold somebody in full guard and hit them, you're scoring the whole time, even if in a regular MMA fight that wouldn't be the case. Yeah. It looks like he's looking at a punch choke from guard here. Very, very, very hard to finish. You know, 
Oh, oh he looks, looks like he wants to the tap. Tapping there. He's got plenty of time. His corner's still telling him to squeeze and stretch him. I see they believe Lane, in it. I see Lane's face turning color. Yeah, he's turning red. He's gritting his teeth. He's turning red and gritting his teeth really hard. But Eli's arms are going to give out if Lane doesn't tap soon. Oh, he just had to readjust it. See, now he's fine because the hand's on the other side. Yeah. He has to dig that hand inside, so Lane should be safe. And now, how yep. much arm... How much juice out of his arms did that cost him? Yeah, squeezing on that yeah, thing. Yeah, that's true. But when you're, dude, when you're this age, it probably mean, who knows? Matter. It's it's hard to tell. These kids can go so so hard for so long. Long round, it felt like. Wow. It felt like a very long round. Two very very tough kids. Look at the look in this killer's eyes. That kid is nonplussed. Eli Young showed very, very good wrestling defense for the first portion of that round, and Lane Marr was like a dog on a bone. He wanted that takedown. He wanted that takedown, and then and he, he got finally it. got it. And he kept it the whole time and yes. stayed scoring. You know, uh, there was never a point where I felt like Eli was giving up. He was working. It was just the control. Yeah. The control from Lane the legend. Yeah, good top pressure from Lane. Uh, Eli had success on the feet. I imagine that they're going to try to obviously not let that happen again. But he had some success with his kicks. His kicks were sending Lane stumbling backwards. And with no punches to the head, legs and body kicks seems like a, a winning strategy. Because one of the ways that you would be countered by kicking the legs and body excessively is by being punched in the face. You do run the risk of the takedowns. Eli Young's corner telling him to let him miss a little. Hard low kick from Eli Young. And then he sprawls hard and lifts him up with the cross face. Outside trip attempt again from Marr. And this is where... Three I or four attempts at it. Yeah, this is where things get a little dangerous for the highest time fighter because he's got to get a little creative here. Holding on to that guillotine gave gave Lane a chance to take him down. Yeah, you got you to gotta finish it. But what I tell you, the most rushed position in MMA, the guillotine, I mean, yeah. it's just such a deceptive thing because in the academy, people will tap to it even when it's not in because they just don't want to get their head pulled and squeezed on. Like, yeah. you know, sometimes you're just like, oh, I'll just tap. But in a real fight, even in a kid's fight, you know. Extremely hard to finish that it. That motivation to stay in unless you're actually being choked is high. Looks like Eli's rotating over for a nice little arm bar. All he has to do is straighten the arm. He taps. He taps him. Eli, Eli Young with the armbar in the second round. What a performance and the backflip to match. Got to hit the emote. Lane Marr clearly frustrated, upset with himself. He's not displaying any signs of injury. I think he's just upset he, that he had the fight. He had the fight essentially won, you know, based on what was happening. He's holding him down. Youngins to the center of the cage. Well, we have a well, we have a referee stoppage at one minute and three seconds due to armbar. Your winner out of the red corner, Eli Young. Nice round of applause for Lane Marr. Lane Marr with a performance to be Eli, proud of. Come here. Let's look right here at the camera here. Eli, how old are you? Eleven. All right, eleven years old. Do you, I see you got a wrestling rash guard on. Do you do any other sports besides MMA or wrestling? I do jiu-jitsu. That's pretty much it at this point. Yeah. So you're just focused on this. How long have you been doing this? Almost about four years. That's awesome, man. Great fight, great arm bar. Do your, your parents really support you in this, don't they? Yeah, they do. <laughs> Did you have fun out there? Yeah. What was the game plan? I was trying to strike as much as I can, but he is really good in his wrestling. His trips are good, but I was trained to work on the bottom more. I was usually trained to work in the guard most of the time. 
And so I knew how to set that up. Yeah, you did some great work from guard there, my friend. Uh, what, what's your goals right now with MMA? What do you want to do with it? Do the same thing and then go in the UFC. <laughs> the UFC. Would you guys like to see Eli Young in the UFC? All right. Well, Eli, we had a great time watching your fight, my friend. We'd love to see you fight here on Fight For It one more time. Do you have anything, any shout-outs you want to give to your team or your family or anything before I let you go? Mm -hmm. I want to give a shout-out to Bella, my sister. She's the one that gave me the courage and supported me throughout the whole time I started this in boxing and kickboxing. So I want to give a shout out to her. All right, well shout outs to Bella and shout outs to you, Eli. Eli, phenomenal performance, my friend. Great job. Eli Young, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for him. <laughs> <laughs>